Hello, everybody. <laughs> Tonight, or today, we're going to be um, finishing the pommel design. So, um, what was it now? So last time, our pommel, our design was pretty short by five millimeters. Um, yeah, it was, it was short by like five millimeters. Um, right in there. So we had to reprint everything. So, now that it's all reprinted out yesterday, and we're going to take it apart today. So it came out like this. And the words came out a little bit better, I think. Because I made it bigger. What was it? Like 15-25% bigger? Alright, and so we're just going to pull them off. We get right into it. So there's that. Um, I want to take the, the pommel off the original one really quick. Or, yeah. Ow, oof. All right. And so now, ooh, that. That is too big. Um. Hmm. We might have to stick with the original one. Darn it. Yeah, it's too. It's too big. It's too wide. So. Even that was kind of like. Should have just been like 5%. Oh, man. Kinda hoping that would that would work out so I'd have a little bit more play with this if this one didn't kinda like mess up. Cause I kinda like estimated a lot on on how like <sighs> on like making it bigger without actually making it bigger. Um, percentage-wise, and I know that's like a stupid thing to do, especially on 3D designing. I just hope this one's a little bit better than... see if this actually fits oh it fits it actually fits like a decent oh I kind of wanted to clean that out before okay so it kind of I'm gonna have to glue it in but I know for a fact that it's just gonna fit in there oh that is actually pretty cool so this one we're gonna keep I guess the old um, in between, kind of like the handle and... Oh. There, that's fine. And then just to test it... No. There's a lot of, like, support structure in here. Wait, how big is this compared to this? Yeah. They're, the comparison of the two? This one's way bigger. And it should, in theory, give it the 
the room it needs to be better. Mm -mm. Am I going to have to drill it out? Probably. Maybe not. I should have prepared for that, because I don't think I did. Yeah, I'll be right back with the drill because this this isn't working where is it can I actually use that actually I might be able to use it if I glue it in Yeah, no. I might just keep this because I don't like the look of this side. You can kind of see how that one's just all nice and this one's kind of like meh on one, good on one side, but then like meh on the other. This does fit where it needs to be. And if compressed, it will fit there. That's fine. Um, I think I might stick with the new one then. Alright, so I'll be right back. We're going to go grab a drill, and I'll be right there. Okay. Back. Oh, my. All right. Yep. Yeah, I am. All right. So. All right, so which one did I do? I think it was this one. All right. Um, nope, that was not the right way. There, 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 there. Okay. And so, if you can see, there is an inlet or hole that we did before but um but I just like there let's get that sword again let's see if it will I'll first put Spacer on. And then I can just kind of like. Hey. 
Hey, uh, Jam B Impact. How you doing? It's the first time I actually caught someone live. Um. I'm doing all right. Um, I'm just trying to finish up this this project here. Oh. Making a pommel for my sword. Um, the handle is already made. Um, so I bought this sword on eBay like 10 years ago and it was missing the pommel and it just was like, it's a really bad condition one. So I'm just making the end of it. Pommel is the the end the um the end half of it. Uh and so I'm just trying to figure out how to do it all. Well, I'm 3D printing it and then attaching it really. Might use some hot glue at some point, but I don't think it's necessary. Let me try the smaller. So yesterday, I kind of like, I, I, I 3D printed some other stuff, and it didn't work out exactly, but actually that looks, uh, I hate to say it looks better with that one than the big one, because it slowly kind of like goes up. No, wait. That's the problem right there. Actually, no, I need to do the bigger one. Because otherwise it's not going to work. Ah, well, they're, both of them are actually neither going to work correctly. because it still has play in the handle. Ah. So I just started working like literally, mm, what was it? It's been like three, like four hour sessions or something like that. Not even, not even like 12 hours on this. But um, because all I'm doing is just, just the handle or just the, the back end of the handle. I'm not actually doing much on it. It's just replacing this piece right here from here to here. And I don't know. It's just something that's been sitting around my room. And so I just was like, well, why don't I fix it so I can actually maybe use it or display it or something? Because just as it is right now, it just look well, just as it is. It's just like, meh. You can't draw it at all from the, sh from the sheath because it just pulls back. So I'm just trying to figure out a way to get all this. Can I do both of these? No. Dang. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. And because this sword was made like by a company that was closed down in 1960s. I'm never going to find the parts for it. it. It's just one of those things that you know that you're never going to find the parts for it. Eh, so. Alright. So let me just try test fitting. This again. Alright. Problem is it's a sword and I'm working on a regular sized desk. And it's kind of small-ish sized desk. Um, all right, so throw this on. Actually, that fits, that fits pretty good. 
and I got no wiggle room in the... Actually, this is exactly what I wanted. Because it doesn't wiggle at all when I when I pull... Well, maybe a little bit, but that's these stupid fittings down this way. That need to be a little bit more. Nope. We're good right there. So I think I got it. Just like... Okay. Yeah, there's no wiggle in it when I pull it out compared to what it was um, with the other with the other arrangement. So I think we're going to try and touch this piece up because... Ooh. Come on. Oh, we're not targeting that. Come on. There we go. Because I need to clean this up. I don't know if I want to erase the name. My name on there. Or if I want to... I don't know if I want to place... Let me just try the other one again really quick. Uh, the blade is... This is a prop blade. So, um... I just saw your question. The blade is dull from the beginning. So, let me just... Oh! Should have done that while I had the... It's, it's, it's flat. There is no, there is no... There is no edge on this sword. This is a prop one. Made by... MC Lily and Co. Columbus, Ohio. And again, this... The work? Oh man, is it gonna show with this light? Let me turn off the light real quick. I know it's really dark, but you can like see kind of the pattern here. It's actually pretty cool. Let me, let me see if I can pull it up a bit more. Wait, let me turn on the light. Because it's reflective, it does not like this at all. Oh, here we go. My camera doesn't... Uh, I can't get a good shot with the camera. I don't want... And, and to be fair, it's very, very bent. Um, as you can see, it kind of like curves that way. And uh, I honestly have no purpose for a sword. I bought it because it would fit my, um, I was going for a, a kind of like a knight costume at the time. And with chainmail, everything. And so I just kind of like got this on a whim threw it on and didn't actually pull it out or do anything with it because the handle was kind of like meh you, you, you see how it is um so so yeah I didn't want to But then, I don't like the transition from here to here. Because if you look, it's just, it just doesn't look right. It's too big. It like goes, the handle goes all the way there. And then it's, it's too big of a, a gap right there. Man. So I do like the other one better. This is why we have multiple test runs. And 3D printing is great for multiple test runs. Cause I know there's I know there's like a small gap in between ooh. Is it, is it that small? Yeah, there's there's kind of a gap in between, but like I really need to either fix it or deal with looking like that and I don't really like looking wait can I do this nope because that looks that looks even though there's a gap it looks more finished than having that on there um and I don't want to print this out again 
because I've already wasted so much filament. Um, even though I say 3D printing is better. Have you ever wanted to turn your bath into a jazz bath? No, I didn't want to turn my bath into a jazz town. Um, but what was it? stupid Spotify commercials? Um, but. Yeah, the filament that I'm using is copper filament. It's actually got copper inside the, the plastic. So it actually is like really more expensive than regular stuff. Um, so, but yeah, no, this, this looks better than just than the other one because it goes down and then it goes out. Like it gets small, it gets big in the middle of the handle, and it gets small, then it slowly, gradually gets bigger again until you got the the pommel on it. Um. But yeah, no, I got this sword. What was it now? Yeah, like yeah, ten years ago. And so, I just wanted. It's been. It's on my. It's been on my list of things to do, forever. And like right now, I'm here. I've got some stuff to do, but I said, screw it. It's gonna be on my list right now. And so we're gonna, I guess, try and sand down the inside a bit more. We did some yesterday. So we can try and get a better fit, but I doubt it's going to work. Wait a second. That, that much, um, that much, it, it should, in theory, work. We're just going to sit here and kind of like, be like old school blacksmiths and take the time and effort into perfecting what we're doing here. Also, I need to fix this. think I'd ever want to own well maybe I would want to own like a blade with an actual edge on it at some point in my life but not right now Right now, I'm just using different style, um, different files to try and get the profile down. There's like, oh, I hate these little pieces that are left over when you, um, when you 3D print something. It's, mm. see, there's like, it's not round-ish. You see, there's a little bump right there. There's like little bumps all over the place, and I have to smooth that out. Otherwise, it doesn't look right. There we go.
Oh, why is it focusing there? Uh, focus. Cancel focus. Oh, why won't you focus on things now that I tell you to focus? Nope, my camera doesn't like that for whatever reason. I guess it's because it's the reflective surface. I don't know, the curved surface. We're just gonna... Alright, let's try this back on. Mm. See, the thing is, I would use a... I don't want to use a Dremel because the Dremel will melt the plastic if it gets too hot with the friction. And I'm scared of that happening. All right, screw it. We're we're doing too much. We're we're gonna risk the structural integrity of this. <sighs> so we're just gonna put it on. In a day or two, this will this will all turn back to the same color. And it's about it's about what I want. And so let's put the, the nut on, and I think we're just going to leave it this way. Accidents. They can happen to all of us. They are just about always I bet they could happen to all of us, can't they? Um... The reason I don't care too much about this is because it's everything's bent. All the metal is bent. Um, like literally everything is is ready. It's on its way out. It's 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 there. I just want it to look nice, nicer than what it already is. Um. 
because you can kind of see that it's like it is tilted and it is slanted and it's just not it's not what it used to be but it's able to show off my skills as a 3d printer a designer um just enough so Grant me the gift of divine grace to protect and conquer my five senses that I may carry out the seven, the seven, uh, words of mercy, believe in the 12 articles of our faith practice practice the 10 commandments of the law and finally be delivered from the seven capital sins of to the last day of my life 13th to 16th century prayer and so now i can draw this sword actually without it freaking out i love this okay and yeah it's not perfect but again this sword is actually like it's tilting in multiple directions it's physically tilting this way because these are straight. These are, are on the... This one's on the nut, which is like where it's centered to. That nut doesn't move around when it's all the way in. So this thing, the screws, the screw is actually going this way with that. And there's no way I can counteract that. Um, unless I wanted to reforge this entire sword, which I do not have the capabilities, nor the, um, nor a place to do it. But it's holding on there, and I can draw the sword actually pretty well. There we go. And then after after it's been aged, this will actually patina because it's got real copper in there and it'll make it really nice. I know it's not going to be the best with the gold, but I don't have gold to spare or the not gold, but um, uh, what's tin and uh, what's the other one? Tin and copper make. Um. Oh, what's, what's the, what's the thing tin and copper make? I know the ingredients. Why do I, why am I so bad at that? Um, bronze, bronze. I don't have any like bronze. That would actually have been better, but I don't have that. I'm trying to get rid of this copper filament. Um, and it just looks kind of nice on this. I might throw a chain on here. At some point originally the chain was supposed to be like a guard but I don't like that idea that seems too fancy I'm just gonna take this pin or this this piece off and just put a chain on it with like a little uh, crucifix or something on there I don't know so yeah, over time, this is gonna, this is just gonna vanish. The smaller details, like, yeah, I got it to the rough amount of size that I want it, so I think we're good. Uh... All right, so I got the parts I generally like. I'm just gonna detail this rest of this. Because you can see kind of that it's like stepping right here.
Just cleaning up last minute things. And then on the other side too. I don't want to smooth it out just a bit. On the edges, just so it Original one. I wonder what the other one's gonna look like. Let me just let me just swap this out real quick. I know it's like destroying my piece because everything's press fit so I don't really want to like mess with anything but I feel like if I don't try this out my head's gonna like freak out or if my head's already freaking out it's it's good all right Ooh, we could always do this. No. Nope. Not big enough. We did try this before. I remember that. Um, so, I've got to figure out what this smaller one's going to go to. Because normally, I don't, I don't let anything go to waste. So now... There we go. Yeah, everything's kind of like wobbly on this, like... I really want to say like... Six, no, like, I really want to say a hundred years. Well, it's getting there. What is it, 2020? And the company shut down in 1960. So I don't know if this was made before then or after then or whatever. Sitting in someone's, someone's, um, place because you can, like, see that it's like everything's tilted that way. It's really tilted, like right he from like right from right here. You can clearly see that this blade is like seen better days. It's hit something and has not wanted to do anything. But we've restored it the best we could. And well, I think that's our journey for this sword. I don't want to put too much time into it. Um, it looks amazing from what it is um, I don't want to redo the handle because 
it's the original one. I want to keep it like all the original parts. Whatever was there was there. Um. And yeah. Well, we'll see how it lasts, and maybe next time we'll think of another one. Maybe we'll put another one on here at some point, or maybe we'll buy um, another sword and fix that one up too. So, um, with that... Have a wonderful afternoon, evening, night, guys. Um, I'm going to take a break for about a half hour. It's Thanksgiving today. So, um, give thanks. And um, we'll be back maybe in an hour or so. I want to take a few pictures of this, post it on Instagram, uh, tweet the tweet um, with it. And uh, we'll be back maybe within an hour, half hour to an hour, somewhere like that. And we'll go play Pokemon. So, with that, uh, have a nice day, guys. And remember, always do what you love, all your heart. I'm only doing this, I'm only streaming because it actually helps me f do what I want. Gives me enough confidence to try and do things, because otherwise you look like an idiot on stream, doing nothing. Um, so it forces me to do what I want. But, um, yeah. So... Thank you guys for joining me on this journey of fixing my sword. Uh, or, you know, kind of fixing my sword. Because this will never actually be 100% uh, well because of how, uh, how not straight it is. But thank you guys. And I'll see you uh, next time. Bye.